Guys, welcome to this beautiful, beautiful day. I am Chicken Rides, and today we have a new camera. Yeah, so um, today I am testing out the new Drift Ghost S. Uh, it's new for 2013. It's been out for a while in uh, in the States and uh, in the UK but it has just come to Australia and came out a couple of days ago now as you get my uh, my grubby paws on one I've just been going through trying to get all my settings right so I hope I've got it right now uh, feels pretty good and uh, here goes the review so the first up uh, first thing I'll, I'll put out there is that I'm comparing this side by side to having a GoPro in the exact same mount. I'm mounting it on top of my on top of my helmet. Thank you. Um, I mounted it on top of my helmet and it's um, it's running the same microphone into the same position. Uh, yeah, so pretty much everything is the same except for the camera. And um, I guess there's no adapter in the microphone. Uh, with the GoPro I needed to have this uh, stupid little toggle adapter. So all that out of the way, um, the first thing that I'll say about it is its profile is incredibly small. Um, with the GoPro, even at this sort of speed, like 50 odd k an hour, uh, you immediately notice an awful lot of uh, kind of tear on your head. Um, and it really pulled, really, really pulled your head a lot. Um, this, I mean, I've ridden with it at freeway speed, and yeah, nothing. I mean, admittedly, it was on a windy day, um, like today, uh, but even with pretty high wind, you actually notice more of the wind buffering your body than you do the the, uh, the effect on your head, which is it's actually quite amazing uh, when you think about it all uh, especially when the GoPro on a still day at like you know, 40 50 odd K an hour would try to tear your face off in terms of quality um, I gotta say they advertise they do advertise the drift as having the same sensor that the Hero 3 Black did now I am I really tempted to call shenanigans uh, on this one. Uh, um, like the I don't know whether it was the Protune mode or whatever it was I had it in, but it's just not the same. Um, it's a little bit more blocky, a little bit more cartoonish. Um, it's just the quality just isn't there. Um, and it pains me to say it as well, because I was really looking forward to having uh, the, the better video quality on the drift. Um, but I'll put a side-by-side -side comparison, or I'll put a shot of the, the GoPro footage in here from the same moment, or from the same kind of bit of road and stuff, and this, you just can't compare the two. Um, audio quality, uh, um, the mic is certainly more sensitive, which is a massive plus. I can control the mic sensitivity. Um, overall, I guess the quality is about the same. Like, uh, you're comparing apples to apples here, but yeah, that video is just like for vlogging, it's okay. But when you view it at home, like directly off your SD card or through an HDMI cable, you you'd notice a difference huge. Um, and it's a shame because. Uh, Drift have put a lot of work, obviously, into their video sensor because it's it's the one thing that's been been really letting them down. Um, you know, like they've got all of the convenience factor in the market sorted, and they've got all these other bits sorted, but just something about that video quality just isn't there for for Drift. Um, and yeah, like I said, it, it's it's a it's a shame because 
otherwise, this is a really nice camera. Um, the battery life, this thing smashes a GoPro out of the park. Um, I think this has like three and a half hours battery with one. Like, you've got no battery pack, but you don't need it. I mean, it's got the same amount of battery, if not more, with the stock than the GoPro does with an external battery pack on it. And I've got a second charge, I've got a second battery for this and a wall charger. And with both of them, I mean, I've got seven hours of record time and a 64 gig SD, and I'm set. Like, I'm set for a full day's recording. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a shame, really, because, yeah, like, there's, it's very, very, very hard to fault this camera on most of ever, most of what it sells on. Like, it sells in the fact that it's a complete vlog package. Um, you don't need anything else to record with it, I guess, except a microphone. And the drift, the drift external microphone is dirt cheap. Um, yeah, like you really don't need anything else to record with it. But you, um, you put it on, and you just can't, you can't get that that GoPro quality. I hate to say it, but it's the GoPro quality. Um, and I, the unfortunate thing is, well, I can't compare this to the previous iterations of the Ghost, um, or even you know the Drift, the Drift HD. So I don't know whether this is still, regardless of its comparison to the GoPro, an improvement over what uh, what Drift used to put out. But coming straight from a Hero 3, not even a Hero 3 Plus, it's a Hero 3 Black Edition. Um, it's it's chalk and cheese, unfortunately. Um, yeah, there's no no comparison between the two. I do plan on continuing doing this for vlogs um, because I've had some pretty bad uh, neck and shoulder problems uh, and my physio does reckon that some of it is coming from the fact that I've got a GoPro strapped to the top of my head the whole time. So we'll see if that, see if the having this in the top helps. Um, other things to note, the remote the remote functionality is, is really nice. I like having um, a remote that doesn't drain the battery heaps uh, like this other one did. Um, so that's a huge plus there. Uh, it's super easy to use. Um, this strap is a little bit uncomfortable uh, on my wrist, so I don't wear it on my wrist or wear it on my belt loop. That's fine. That's nitpicking. Um, in terms of how everything went on, oh, it's it's a breeze. I mean, mounted up, super easy. Everything plugged in, super easy. Comes with everything you need to kind of do and undo all the latches and everything like that. I mean, I haven't got a single complaint that side. Uh, waterproof as well. There's a, I've got a, I've got a different uh, back on it, so it allows me to use the uh, 3.5 mm port. So it's not, it's not waterproof through there, but I mean, it'll certainly be shower resistant looking at it. So that's not a problem. Um, but the B thing is wind noise as well, like. It might not sound it because of the different uh, audio sensor, but this is so much quieter. Um, so, so much quieter. And I've got this ability to move my head around. And if I had done that exact movement with a GoPro, it would have been near impossible. I mean, my, my head would have been, you know, there would have been a lot of drag and I would have had to move my head around with a lot more force. So, huge up, upside there. So, uh, big ups, big ups to Drift for, uh, for their design. So yeah guys, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit. Um, I'll probably post uh, another update video or so in a few weeks detailing kind of a few other things about it and what I like about it, what I don't like about it and things like that. But until then, uh, this is goodbye from Chicken Rice. Cheers.